DJ Karen is a transitional period spanning from 635 million years to 541 million years ago. It marks the end of the Precambrian and the beginning of the Cambrian period. What differentiates these two periods is the long absence of highly complex living creatures in the Precambrian and the presence of these creatures suddenly in the Cambrian period. The life forms of Cambrian period were physiologically as advanced as the ones living today. In fact, some of them exceeded in anatomical structures and were one of a kind. The sudden appearance of these animals in the fossil record came as a shock to evolutionists who believed in the gradual evolution of life from single cell organisms to complex multi cells with many intermediate and unsuccessful forms in between. Yet the fossil record is completely silent about these intermediate forms of Cambrian animals. These animals appeared in the Cambrian rocks all of a sudden with all their complex structures. Many evolutionary scientists had to admit this fact that complex life in the Cambrian period appeared to have been planted all of a sudden without evolutionary history. However, their desire to find early ancestors of Cambrian animals continued, and the discovery of some fossilized multicellular organisms in the Precambrian rocks of Idiacara gave some hope to evolutionary scientists in thinking that these fossils could help them link Idiacaran life forms evolutionary with those of Cambrian animals. This hope, however, soon faded when they realized that Idiacaran life forms had their own world and none of them looked like anything living or dead today. The very nature of these life forms became the source of endless debate among evolutionary scientists as to what these creatures really were and which phyla they could possibly belong to. Some thought they were lichens, some placed them in periphery and nidarian phyla, and for some they were not even animals. Although complex on their own, these multicellular creatures were entirely soft-bodied and were preserved in the fossils remarkably well. They were unique and came in intriguing variety and sizes. Some looked like radial furs and some had symmetry. Some were spongy and some were seafloor pouches. These creatures were highly adoptive in their environment. Some of the famous life forms of Idiacaran are Charnia, Dickinsonia, Kimbrella, Sprigina, and Parvan Carina. These life forms, like those of Cambrian, showed up suddenly in the fossil record. They were not evolutionarily linked to the single cell organisms that existed before them or the complex invertebrates that appeared after them in the Cambrian. The discovery of Idiacaran life forms presented another challenge for evolutionary scientists. They were already unable to account for the sudden appearance of Cambrian life forms. Now they had to account for the sudden appearance of Idiacaran life forms too. Despite all the fossil evidence that shows that life forms in both the Diacaran and Cambrian period appear suddenly, evolutionary scientists keep inventing imaginary scenarios to link them together. Their reasons are more ideological than scientific. They do not want to accept the scientific fact that each of them were created by a supreme creator instantly and individually. 